about rising prices and low wages. Some set fire to barricades as security forces tried to push them back with tear gas. In response, Maduro fired back, criticizing the U.S. for backing the protesters. I have decided and have given an order to the foreign minister to review our relationship with the United States. In the coming hours, we will take decisions of a political and diplomatic character in defense of our national sovereignty, in defense of our constitution, and in defense of Venezuelan democracy. Maduro has survived threats to his power before, but this week could be his most challenging yet. Christine Pirovolakis, TRT World. Well, journalist Cody Weddle is in Caracas, where protests are due to start shortly. And Cody, tell us what you're expecting in terms of turnout and what uh, opposition leaders are hoping to achieve. Well, good morning. We are expecting a large turnout here today. Based on what we've been seeing over the past few weeks, we've been seeing the opposition hold these town hall meetings across the country, and it has really generated a lot of excitement. And I think uh, the government here is worried about the turnout today, and we've already been seeing that. We've been seeing National Guard troops pass behind me here. We've, we are in a working-class uh, neighborhood, places where generally the opposition hasn't had support, but is seeing more support these days. And we've already been seeing National Guard troops firing tear gas on people here as they try uh, to gather and march towards the city center. So abs uh, uh, troops here not allowing anyone uh, to even gather, uh, uh, gather together. Uh, and this is going to be a major problem for protesters because a Maduro, of course, does have the backing of the military. So how much of a threat is all this to his presidency? Well, it does appear that it is a threat to his presidency. Uh, for now, Maduro, as you said, has the backing of the, of, of the armed forces. What well, Wang Guaido, the opposition leader here, is urging, uh, he's urging for the armed forces not to, uh, not to back Maduro during these protests. And he said that's what he'll need in order, uh, in order for really change to be affected here. Uh, Cody, hopefully we'll get an update from you a little later on, but for the moment, thank you very much indeed. Still to come.